those who are the most radical in support of the revolution will become the most conservative group the day after the revolution takes place. Revolutionaries have never actually made a revolution. They are just a group that knows when power falls on the streets, then picks it up. It is my opinion that civil disobedience is only the newest form of voluntary association, and as such they are closely aligned with the country's oldest traditions. The third world is not a reality but an ideology. Promises are a uniquely human way of governing the future, making it as predictable and reliable as humanly possible. What is new always occurs against the probable laws of statistics and probability, which for all practical, everyday purposes means certainty, therefore the new always appears in the guise of a miracle. Total loyalty is possible only when loyalty is devoid of all concrete content, from which a change of mind may naturally arise. Death not only ends life, but bestows upon it a silent completeness, drawn from the dangerous currents to which all human things fall. Economic growth may one day turn out to be a curse rather than a good, and under no circumstances can it lead to freedom or be proof of its existence. There are no causes left but the most ancient of all, which in fact from the very beginning of our history have determined the existence of politics, the cause of freedom versus tyranny. The unrelenting and unreasonable demand for genuine scholarship in a number of fields, where only present knowledge is possible, has led either to irrelevance, to the well-known knowledge of less and less, or to the development of false scholarship which in fact destroys its object. To be sure, nothing is more important to the integrity of a university than a strictly enforced divorce from war-oriented research in all connected companies. Wherever the relevance of speech is at stake, things get political by definition, because speech is what makes a human being a political animal. <laughs>